Hello, my celestial Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. This is Mystic Storm here to clear a path to a new life with you. If you're new, welcome to the family. I pray that this reading resonates with you and you're able to gain guidance for October 2020 and beyond. And if you're already a part of the celestial tribe, you already know the deal. We back with another one. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Scorpios, I wanted to give you a brief breakdown of uh, what's going on for October. We do start off October with the Aries full moon. We are in Libra season, but later on, we'll be in your season. So, happy solar return. Hope you all are celebrating your birthday right, despite all that's going on in the year 2020. And um, so following the full moon here, we go into Mercury retrograde on the 13th through November 3rd. And we then go into the Libra new moon on the 16th and then the blue moon on Samhain, a.k.a. Halloween. And that blue moon is in Taurus. So I just wanted to make sure you all were aware of that. And speaking of awareness, this very well may be your sun sign, but I do encourage you to check out your moon, rising, and Venus as well. In addition to any of the one, any one of those from the previous month, because as the seasons change, as the months go, it's a flow. The messages flow. So you might pick up different synchronicities and uh, confirmation and piece those together in order to create your personal message, okay? And uh, I am open for personal readings. So you can email me at mysticstorm333 at gmail.com. I'll be there. And you can follow me on social media, mysticstorm333, all right? Okay, so my, um, sorry, I was about to say cancers, my Scorpios, the color I seen for you was turquoise, turquoise, and, um, the message I got was restore balance and harmony in expression. So expression can be expressing yourself like communication, expression, expressing yourself could be, uh, in a form of art creativity, okay? So take that as you will. I will say that your um, message for last month was pluck out limiting beliefs, okay? So your limiting beliefs may be um, that you have to hide who you are or that you aren't worthy enough to get the abundance you need surrounding your expression. So... Take that as you will, all right? Let's dive into the cards. We're going to begin with the Oracle of the Hidden Worlds. Spirit, what messages, what guidance do you have? For my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of October 2020 and beyond. Messages, guidance for them. What do they need to know? What do they need to bring into their awareness? The path of the gods. Decisions, meetings, future plans. Interesting. The path of the gods. Know who you are. That is definitely saying that. You have some choices that you need to make in order to really go into this new path. It says, the message I got was restore balance and harmony in expression. Your expression is going to lead you down a path towards, oh, Towards abundance, I didn't see that castle here. That's so beautiful. And then two, masculine and feminine. This might be you finding both aspects of yourself or you might be taking this journey with a partner. 
This may be a business partner. This may be a romantic partner. This may be a friend that is here to help you. But there's some, there, there might be someone here assisting you down this journey. Okay. So that's beautiful. I, I really like that a lot. You're, once you open up and express yourself, the path will be clear. The path will be clear. It will be illuminated. This is the path here. It will be illuminated for you. You couldn't see it at first. But once you open up and express yourself, the door will open. So let's see what the illumination is for this card. There we go. It says, walking my path is a divine opportunity to create change in the world. Walking my path is a divine opportunity to create change in the world. So again, pluck out your limiting beliefs. That was last month because your limiting beliefs make you feel like you don't make an impact in this world, but you do. Your expression will change the world. You will leave your mark. But it's up to you to figure that out and actually go forth to do it. Okay? So that's why Turquoise is here to restore balance and harmony. Okay? Nice. So let's get into the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit deck. Spirit, what messages, what guidance do you have? From this deck, what animals do my Scorpios need to work with? What is the energy here at play? How can they use this energy for their benefit? How can they restore balance? Oh, that was too many cards. I was about to say, bet. <laughs> like, just like that, Spirit. Thank you. The hyena. Hyena. Really working with the light and the dark here. This is definitely fire energy. So you might need to do some releasing, some banishing. Prime time to do it. Prime time to do it. Also, humor. Um, being happy. Joyous hyenas laugh a lot. <laughs> They laugh so funny. So I don't know. Let's let's get into what else they might have additional messages. Hyena. See humor. <laughs> humor, wit, sarcasm. <laughs> oh, the, the hyena personality is a jokester and crowd pleaser, but below the surface, they are unfulfilled dreams to be uh realized. Oh, let me read that again. The hyena personality is a jokester and the in a crowd pleaser, but below the surface there are unfulfilled dreams to be realized. When the hyena card appears, it's time to reflect on the reliance of, on sarcasm and humor to express your truth. Wow. Wow. Are you using jokes to hide old resentments in relationships? or to mask things that you feel uncomfortable discussing? What would happen if you took your goals seriously? Wow. So it says, when in balance, charming, witty, fun to be around. When out of balance, scrappy, petty, suspicious. To bring into balance, sobriety. Ooh. Okay, so I see what's going on here. <laughs> I'll keep going. Pluck out limiting beliefs. You're you're downplaying yourself because like are you and you're not being authentic. And this is why it said restore balance and harmony in expression. Because you might be using um jokes and sarcasm and humor to express your truth 
when you need to be authentic. Man, you need to check out the weekly essence for September 28th through October 4th. It's called Mask Off. It's for the Aries full moon, okay? So uh, definitely check that out. You you may be a, a jokester. Very well, maybe, or a dry sarcasm, dry humor, um, just so you can get around um, different discussions. And that has gotten you, you know, here thus far. But in order for you to open up that path, you need to express yourself fully and boldly and be firm in it you know don't you don't have to worry and there's there's strength in vulnerability it's okay to say that hurt my feelings you don't have to you know cr you know cry you can cry you know you can cry by yourself but you know after you reflect and think about it. You can step to that person and be like, yeah, that hurt my feelings and I don't appreciate that. Instead of joking around like, huh, yeah, that was uh, that was a tough one. But, you know, you you did this or you tried it. You tried it. But in, in actuality, you're hurt. Okay. So let's get into the good tarot. Let's see what other messages are here for you. Spirit, what additional messages do you have for my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of October 2020 and beyond? Seeing Eight of Water transition, leaving things behind. I heard take them. Nine of Earth in reverse. King of Fire. Well, okay. Thank you. The Hermit. Boom. So you definitely need to take time to go within to unlock doors that you have uh, locked yourself. That only you have the key to because you have suppressed these emotions. Okay. You have to do the shadow work. Going within and finding the root cause of the issues you may have surrounding expressing yourself and communicating yourself in a better way. Mercury retrograde is coming. So this Mercury retrograde might put you in a state where you are tested. Okay? Tested to really express yourself. So you got to prepare for it. You got to prepare for it. I feel like you don't believe that you can stand on your own and you can be independent. I don't believe that you feel like you are abundant, that you can achieve the goals that you have, but you have so much passion and so much fire inside of you. You have king of fire and a hyena with the fire. You have so much passion and so much fire inside of you that needs to be expressed to the outside world. Hermit. I mean, I said hermit, but the sun here needs to be expressed to the outside world. If you don't express it, how can you be able to see see material growth and financial growth? But what's blocking you and how you can then bring this into the physical, you need to you need to go within. You do need to go within and reflect. And in that reflection, you will find so many truths that will create better avenues. You might find that you are a poet. You, you might discover that there's a book inside of you. You might discover that, hey, I, I enjoy painting as a release, but I mean, I'm pretty good at this. Or design or anything like creative, starting a YouTube channel anything let find that passion inside of you and ignite it okay but you first have to do some healing you have to do some shadow work so you can pluck out these limiting beliefs that you have that you created that you locked away and threw threw away the key you have the key you hid it from yourself you have to go in and find it okay so let's keep going 
Ace of Earth, you're coming out of that. Yes, and at the bottom, oh, Empress, fertility. You have so much to, um, so much creativity, so much abundance inside of you. Page of Earth, okay. See, yeah, you're you're coming out of this limiting belief. Thank you, thank you, Spirit. Thank you. You're coming out of this. You're coming with a new step. You're going to transform. You're going to then realize that you have power. Four of Earth. Wow. All Earth. So it's a lot of grounding, a lot of um, material wealth that you are trying to bring in. This is also saying to save up, uh, reevaluate how you spend your money. You might be a overspender, a, a shopaholic. Um, uh, you like to treat yourself to, to nice meals a lot. But hey, you got to learn how to cook, you know, go on yummy, you know, buy some recipes or something. But you have to, you know, make better financial decisions, definitely, uh, in order for you to see that financial increase. OK, and at the bottom of the deck, we have justice. So justice, we are in Libra season right now. So justice is here for you to restore balance and harmony. And this is what this is what you need. So use the energy of Libra as well to help guide you down this path, okay? I will say the Hermit is number nine, and this was nine of Earth. So th there's fulfillment here for you. you. You will get fulfillment, but you have to make some adjustments on how you view um, financial increase and how you... Uh, make better financial decisions okay so we're gonna get into the final message from the wild authoring deck but before we do i do invite you to again please like share comment subscribe click that notification bell so you can continue to get content from this beautiful abundant and growing channel okay thank you so 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 much I really wholeheartedly appreciate all the support. All right, Spirit, what is the final message to close out my Scorpio's reading? What do they really need to know right now with all the cards that have already been dealt? Thank you. Hardship. Hardship and at the bottom, money. Come on. <laughs> I'm taking both of these. I'm taking both. Let's, let's go. So, hardship. I'm trying to remember who ha who else had hardship. Um, I can't really remember, but it's okay. It says, I embrace what's happening right now. As baffling or painful as it is, help me, God to trust where you are guiding me. I am yours. So yes, we clear paths to a new life, but there's a storm here. I, and whoever whoever the, um, the other sign was, I told them, I said, I never want you to feel like I'm sugarcoating, like, you know, hey, we clear paths, it's gonna be abundant, it's gonna be prosper prosperity and all this stuff. But I, you know, there's there's a storm. And that's why my name is Mystic Storm, because we have to go through storms in order to transform. OK, so you're, right now you may be going through your own personal storm. But this is saying that though these hardships may come, they may be painful. They might not be as painful, but they, they might shake you up a little bit. But know that spirit, that God, the divine is here to help guide you. Surrender your burdens to the Lord. Okay? So, that's there. And then see, money is here. Money is here. You have to maybe pluck out your limiting beliefs on money as well. On financial, we said that. Like, you don't believe that you can be uh, pros uh, prosperous. So, it says, all my finances are now in divine order. So, you got to clean up how you... Do your finances. Love itself knows my needs 
and is the source of all. I need it. I needn't cling to gain or fear loss. Every need will be met through offering all to the divine. So everything that you need, you have access to. Don't worry or fear that you can't pay a bill or you won't be able to eat because you will find that if you offer this to the divine, if you release this burden to the divine, God works in mysterious ways. I'll tell you one thing, you know, I'm working on, you know, financial, like budgeting and all this stuff. And I I went to the grocery store, did like the little pickup um, market thing. And I ordered the stuff and I was, I was like, I can do this. I, I have enough. I'm happy. I'll be able to, you know, get through these next, this next week or two. And when the person put put my groceries in the car when I got home, I had some stuff was in there that wasn't on my cart, but it was stuff that I loved and it was able to sustain me so I didn't have to buy any extras the next week. So blessings come in disguises so just because you might not see all that money in your or currency in your account doesn't mean that you won't get blessings along the way that will help you get through the storm. Okay, so I just wanted to add that tidbit. So, yes, Scorpios, we're clearing paths to a new life. It's going to be prosperous. It's going to be abundant. It's going to be authentic. Okay, and yeah, just be you. You got this. I hope you all have a wonderful October 2020 and beyond. I love you all and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.